Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Jackie here and I am back with another video. And yes, I know you are saying, oh my God, that blue is gorgeous. And it is. And guess what? I only use one eyeshadow to create this look. So if you're interested in knowing how I achieved this look, keep on watching. But before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed. And make sure you double tap that bell. No, make sure you tap the bell. Because <laughs> if you double tap it, you will turn your notifications off. Make sure you tap that notification bell so you will be notified every single time I upload new content. So without further ado, let's just get right into this look. Okay guys, so first things first, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids with the P. Louise Rumor 2 eyeshadow base. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. And the color that I'm using today is out of the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And the color is called Chaos. It's that super gorgeous blue. And I'm just using a random fluffy brush to pack that shade into my crease. And then I'm going to start blending it out. Now the key to a one eyeshadow look is your brushes. The brush that I'm using now is my Morphe M514 brush. And I'm just blending out my edges. You do not want your edges to be harsh, guys, at all. So I'm just applying a little bit more of that P. Louise base to my lid. Nothing perfect, just kind of slapping it on there. And then I'm going to go back into that blue, and I'm going to pat that all over my lid. Now just to blend everything out and make sure that everything is blown out the way I want to, I'm going to be using my Morphe M505 brush and I'm just going to continue to blend until it has somewhat of an airbrush to fit. Okay, so now that I've blended my life away, I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara to my natural lashes. That way my lashes blend in with my falsies. And the glue that I'm using to apply my lashes is by Eye Envy and it's the Super Strong Hold Eyelash Adhesive in Clear. So now I have moisturized my face and I am using the same steps that I've, I'm always using. So the ponds to moisturize, hard candy to fill in those smile lines. And then for primer today, guys, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Putty Primer or Primer Putty. And I'm just pressing that into the skin. And I'm still trying to figure out if I like this or not. Like I've gotten good results, but I still don't know if I really, really like it. So I'm going to color correct a little bit under my eyes and around my mouth with my Ruby Kisses color corrector in the shade Peach. Blend that out and apply my foundation. And again, the foundation I'm using um, that I've been using this summer is the Black Opal True Color Foundation in the shade Nutmeg. I believe it's the True Color Pore Perfecting Foundation. And I'm just pressing that in with my Beauty Blender. And now we're gonna highlight under the eyes and I'm using the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer in the shade Natural Sand. And then I did want to add a little more coverage. So I'm gonna go in with my Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade number 16. You guys may say, oh my God, that foundation looks kind of orange or it looks too dark. It does slightly, but like again, I said in my last video, it matches with my tan and once I blend out my highlight, everything is perfect. So this is the shade that I'm going for until, you know, my tan goes away. So for my contour today, guys, I'm going to be using the Black Opal True Complexion Cream Stick Foundation in the shade Hazelnut and just blending it out like I always do with my Japanese brush and then we're going to go ahead and start blending out under the eyes.
Okay, so I'm just going to start blending out the edges with my beauty blender. And then I'm going to blend out directly under my eye with my Morphe M504 brush. And then I'm going to set each eye as I'm finished with it. I don't want it to sit too long before I set it because the concealer was still kind of wet. So as soon as I finish blending out one eye, I'm going to go ahead and set that eye and then move on to the next one. So I did go back in with my beauty blender just to make sure that everything was blended before I set it. And then I'm just gonna set with my Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder. It's so crazy because every time I start to get close to my eyes, like blending out concealers and things like that, my nose starts to run so like I'm sniffing the entire time I'm trying to blend out this concealer and set under my eyes like my nose is running like crazy so you could probably see me like sniffling a little bit but yeah I don't know what it is every time I mess around my eyes this happens. So I'm also going to apply a little bit of the setting powder around my mouth, um, basically where my smile lines are. And then I'm going to go back in with that brush I blended out my contour with just to add a little bit more product back to my contour on my nose just in case I lost some of it when I blended out my concealer. And of course set my nose. I always forget to set my nose and my forehead. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that and then we're going to set the remainder of the face with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark. And I'm just patting that, that foundation in. Actually, is it? It's foundation. Yeah, I'm just patting that in and I'm using my Japanese 962 brush. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my contour with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark Deepest. And the brush that I'm using is my Japanese 960 brush. So now I'm just pressing in all that setting powder with my Japanese 962 brush. And this is the brush that I used um, to set my face with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. So I'm just going over my contour on my nose just to tone it down a little bit, just so it looks more natural. And then under my eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and press all that setting powder in just to make everything look like skin. So for blush, I'm using my La Femme blush. Not sure what this shade is, but I will have it listed below for you. But like La Femme blushes are the best blushes. I don't. I brought this palette a long time ago. Yeah, a very long time ago, I know. But they're amazing. 
So I'm just setting my face with my rose and coconut setting spray. And then I'm gonna apply my highlighter. And you guys know it's my favorite, the Master Chrome, Maybelline Master Chrome in the shade Molten Gold. And this is my favorite highlighter. I love it, it just gives you that perfect highlight. And of course the brush matters too, but so the brush that I'm using is the Japanese brush. I'll have that number listed below. If I always forget that number brush. And I'm just applying some of the highlights on my nose. And I like to use my finger to just apply it on the, the tip of my nose and the highest point of my nose. And then I'll just go ahead and blend that out. I don't like my hi highlight to be too harsh at all. Okay, so you guys know I do not like eyeliner, but I did use it for this look. And the eyeliner that I'm using is by Wet n Wild. It's the Color Icon Multi Stick in the shade Nocturnal Behavior. And then I'm just going back into that blue, and I'm going to smudge out the black with that blue using my flat definer brush by Jessup. And then for the inner corner of my eye, I wanted to give it just a slight pop, so I did. I applied a little bit of the eyelash glue to the corner, and then I added some of Jay LaRue's white gold pigment. And you usually don't need glue to apply the pigment, but I wanted it for the simple fact that I wanted it to stay in place. I didn't want it all over my face, so that's why I used it. Moving on to the lips, I am lining my lips with the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Cold Brew. So I decided to go with a nude lip, of course. So the lipstick that I'm going to be using is... Ruby Kisses Matte Lipstick in the shade Bare Nude. And then we're gonna finish everything off by spraying my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. You enjoyed this video? I enjoyed creating this look. Make sure you like, comment, and last but not least, subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.